Hope in Jesus Christ the Lord, Saviour and God. Um, this is my testimony and uh, video, testimony and some thoughts. I want to give a bit about Signpost to Christ, my YouTube channel, and what I'm about and why I set up a channel in the first place. Uh, I've had the channel since about 2000. 15 with um, putting up just uh, text videos of uh, the, the, the simplicity of the gospel in Jesus Christ and how I was saved and and why I uh, decided to release videos of uh, my testimony to hopefully reach out to a lost soul and uh, that they may taste the fruit and come saved as, as I've experienced and simply that's why I set up this uh, video channel uh, just to offer my testimony that's why I called it signpost to Christ because that's all I can offer is uh, the answer the answer to life uh, hope and salvation and if you're looking for answers, if you're looking for truth, there's no other hope except in the way that's been offered, that's been given. And that is uh, the Lord Jesus Christ is the, the triune God, the uh, son of the triune almighty God and creator. Uh, God the Father created all things through his son, Jesus Christ, and he was begotten in the flesh into a into his creation he created life he created all things all things were created through the son of god and he came to die for the sins of mankind and by his light by his testimony by by the grace of god he's revealed all sin all by the light he's revealed all that is uh, untrue unfounded in darkness and that the world is lost and only the creator could uh, demonstrate that only the eternal living God could uh, display that overcome death and be sin for all mankind to pay the debt of a just holy God of all the sins that have ever been committed and that ever will be committed that in this probationary lifetime in his creation and his purpose is planned that all men may be drawn to salvation and salvation is only found in Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is salvation, he's the only hope and way. And that that was my um, reason for setting up this uh, website, just as just to reach out to any lost people, any people that have been who believe in Jesus but uh, uh, are either snagged in religion or deceived by a cult by, um, or or believe in some other philosophy uh, some other some other religion I just want to share my testimony of the truth that the truth will, will reveal all things um, I haven't got all the answers I, I just have the answer and uh, and that's why uh, I'm sharing this testimony um, Recently, I done a video on uh, on the Trinity, on, on my testimony of the, the triune nature of God, God the Father, God the Son, and uh, God the Holy Spirit. And uh, I re I've recommended in the past some um, uh, uh, ministries to uh, investigate for uh, even new believers and. Uh, to examine what they're teaching and I recommended King James Ministries which is a, a guy, a brother called Brian Dillinger and I, um, now all the stuff up until a certain point I'd, I'd examined of Brian it was, um, well, you know, it was correct, it was edifying and uh, his recent videos or videos that I've come across recently were I couldn't quite work out if he was being smart or he was teaching modalism now so I want to just uh, re-emphasize that my testimony is on the 
from the Trinity on God the Father, God the Son and God the Holy Spirit and that Jesus Christ has always existed, he's, in, he's eternal and he's the Son of God, the, the, the second member of the Godhead and the Father through, through the Lord Jesus Christ created the earth and it was the Saviour who whose advent into the flesh and to take up mortality is a hundred percent son of God as he was in eternally in the Father he was with the Father and in the Father eternally and he was uh, the only begotten son of God in the flesh now just to quickly deal, deal with uh, modalism which which I believe teaches that God God the Father and God the Son and God the Holy Spirit are all the same and uh, my testimony of the living word and the testimony by the Holy Spirit and believing in Jesus Christ and calling upon God to be saved and receiving the the peace and baptism of the Holy Spirit and the comfort and uh, the reassurance and then then the word of God in not only received it in, in the spirit but received a testimony by the study of the written Holy Scriptures preserved in the King James Bible which is complete and preserved and I have a testimony that the word is completely preserved by the hand of God and, and uh, it's all contained, it's all preserved as Jesus Christ finished work on the cross to save all men that would believe in him, that would call upon him in faith and believe in it and receive free gift of eternal life for the forgiveness of their sins. Um, and he was begotten, if he was begotten solely in the flesh at that point and not and then God's Son was begotten at that point that would deny the scriptures so that knocks out modalism because uh, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit as it as it reveals in, in, in the Word of God that these three agree in one they're not they're not three it's not one person being playing three roles, it's three persons, three individual uh, deities in one, in, in, in the God, in God the Father, God the Son and the Lord on the right hand of the Father, which the Holy Spirit, God the Holy Spirit is a witness, a faithful witness of the Father and the Son, and these three are one, these three agree in one, this is, this is God, that Jesus Christ is the Son of the living almighty father he is God the son of God who came in the flesh so he existed in, in before the earth was created and he was begotten in the flesh so his flesh was created by, by the father through the son and as the human race unfolded it's prophesied that the saviour would be born at a certain place, a certain time, certain certain prophecies. All the prophecies were filled, and, and Jesus Christ, the Messiah, the Son, the Word of the Living God, the Creator, was begotten from the Father from heaven, and took up the flesh, took upon the flesh in the uh, Virgin Mary, and uh, he was born born of the flesh but he wasn't born of the spirit he was always spiritually with the father and eternally he's eternal and he was begotten in the flesh but he was eternal in the spirit so that knocks out modalism and the, and the scriptures testify that there's um, ample of witnesses of the tri the triune nature of, of God God the father God the son and God the holy spirit and I recommended that ministry, not really realising that teaching, so I apologise for that. And I, I just always like to emphasise, you don't need anyone to teach you. If you've believed in the Lord Jesus Christ and you've appropriated his atonement, you are complete in him, you're fully equipped. You have received his word and testimony, you've received the Holy Spirit. 
you've been brought into the fellowship, into heavenly places where Jesus is, in the Father on the right hand, and you are saved. And he will reveal all things and his word. If you have a testimony of his preserved word in the King James Bible, and I'm a King James Bible believer because I have a testimony and I've come to know the spirit I've received by the word and that word is preserved and it refreshes and edifies the testimony I've received but that testimony I've received at the beginning is eternal and it's the same and it's uh, that's why today is the day of salvation it's today and uh, our lives are a probation and we are all born in sin we all inherit sin because of the creation and the fall of man through Adam and Eve sin entered into the world sin entered into the conscience of man sin entered into the actions of man because of disobedience of God and the, and the, and the disobedience of faith in God the trust in God so God's way was forsaken and lost and man was cast out of the presence and grace of God and left to himself and as uh, the human race developed DNA become more and more corrupted and more uncorrupted we have the record in the, the most faithful preserved record of this earth's history contained in the Old Testament and the New Testament but once you know once you've received the truth and you know you know without a shadow of a doubt that um, the Lord has saved you, that you've been saved by the Lord Jesus Christ and what he'd done for you on the cross. And, and you've appropriated his atonement and he's sealed you unto the day of redemption and given you a faithful witness because he's faithful and true and eternal. And once you receive that, you don't need anyone to teach you, but you do need a testimony of, of the preserved word because if you haven't got that, you can go astray. And I, I didn't realise when I was first saved how how equipped I was. I didn't know. I knew I had the truth and I knew that everything else was counterfeit. And, and, and everything in this world is counterfeit and it's been revealed by the holiness and pureness of Jesus Christ, the light. And he's revo uh, revealed that all are sinful. That's the truth. And all are liars. And that's the truth. And, uh, and when we die... We have we, our lives are a record of who we are laid out before us, and we, we re, you maintain that. And there's no death to the soul, there's death to the body. So, inherited sin, sin equals death, sin is corruption, DNA is corrupted. Mankind can't change its own nature, it can't change its own corruption. And only Jesus Christ has revealed that through the prophets, through his testimony and through the Holy Spirit, the conviction of right and wrong. And we're all guilty, we're all sinful. Our, our righteousness is uh, as oily, filthy rags. There's no just man on this earth. There's no, no just people, not one person is just. Only Jesus Christ was holy, pure and just because he was God and eternal, the creator and the son of the living God. God sent his son in the world because he loved the world he gave his son and his son gave his life for us he died for us in our place for our sin because he was holy he wasn't guilty of sin he became sin in our place that we could be saved by his righteousness and to be saved we have to believe that he is the only righteous and he will save us because he's faithful but you need to believe in him to receive him. If you don't believe in him, you're not going to receive him. And that's my invitation, that today's the day of uh, salvation. Not, not tomorrow, because tomorrow you may not be here. And if you die without Jesus Christ, if you, di 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 if you die without the covering of his precious holy blood and being sealed by his love, his forgiveness and mercy, and mercy what he'd done for you on the cross, you've rejected that. And he died that you wouldn't go without, you wouldn't miss out on eternal life. He died that all could have 
freely the free gift of eternal life because that's who God is he fearfully created this world and all the people in it none of us know the full price of what life costs we like we only know what our own experience cost and we can only we can only measure we didn't drink all the dregs of life all the pain all the misery all the suffering only Jesus Christ took that upon himself and he was he was innocent but he didn't do it for uh, worldly fame he'd done it for love pure love for his father to glorify his father he'd done it selflessly that we could all know life because life is life death is death how do you get from death to life without a living eternal faithful creator and God you can't and mankind can't change its own corrupt nature because he's a sinful DNA splicing won't change it because he's founded on sin and no one can put the injustices of this world right and after death is judgment so judgment's only temporary on it. man's judgment's only temporary on earth and the judgments of God are continually unfolding and the day of judgment is not the final judgment is, is not it's, it's not reached that far but when you die, you're judged because you let, you've left a, a record and your you, any any mark on your record will disqualify to you enter into a holy kingdom, a holy place, or to, to be in the presence of a holy God. And Jesus Christ died to draw all men, Jew and Gentile, unto himself, that they may have eternal life freely. That is simply the gospel. That is simply what Christianity teaches to solely call upon the name of Jesus Christ to be saved and because we have the light and we have all darkness we have uh, uncertainty the world doesn't know it's lost it thinks it knows but it all goes its own way and because we have that certainty that light on offer and, and that can be received and therefore it can be known and, and therefore all, all the uncertainty and all the darkness can be can be known and people and all people can be saved and Jesus Christ died to save all men and the whole world today remains guilty like the Lord Jesus Christ said he who was without sin let him cast the first stone only he was qualified to say that now you can say that in today's world any nation against, against another nation can't cast stones can't condemn the other one because all are guilty all fall short of the glory of God and the only way to enter into life is through the life giver through the author you deny the author and the truth you deny the eternal living creator and God and you will be banished because God's faithful to his word he can't deny himself he can't deny his the atonement of his beloved son so if you reject Jesus Christ you accept what he has come to save you from and that's eternal death because God is eternal so if you remain in your sin you remain in your death you're the living walking dead sinful you could be 99% good or 99% of the time commit one sin and you'll go to hell and you'll cry oh God's unjust he's not fair God is perfectly just and holy and he gave his life up he gave his son up and his son gave his life up for the glory of his father for the will of his father for the obedience of his father to suffer all the all the things that we we do wrong all the things that we fail to do he suffered it innocently that we may be saved and enter into that life he's a door he's the life giver he's the light and the only way and he's been revealed he doesn't need to he doesn't need to prove himself 
you need to believe in him to receive him and, and he will he's faithful to uh, reveal that he is and you will receive eternal life the moment you call upon him sincerely in faith and that's the gospel of repentance and faith towards God and faith in the Son of God the Lord Jesus Christ and calling upon his name confessing you a sinner will save you that will appropriate his atonement and that's the gospel and everything in this world is counter the gospel religion the world philosophies uh, Darwinism Islam it's all antichrist it's, the Lord has convicted all as liars all as um, sinners and all you need to do to uh, receive the truth is believe it and once you know the truth you'll have peace you'll have hope you'll have an eternal anchor to your soul no matter what you suffer no matter what you're going through in life so if if you're in dire straits if you feel like ending your life don't give up hope because once you have that testimony that ceiling from God Almighty himself you, you will enjoy all things because you've been given not only have you been given life to start with how, however good or however bad that is you've now if you've appropriated his atonement you've now been saved forever you've been eternally saved you've been sealed by his holy precious blood and brought into his kingdom in heavenly places and you'll be delivered from the wrath it's called the rapture you will be taken in a blink when the, the Lord closes the door because he's gonna condemn the whole world to wrath um, judgment all judgments gonna come on in one day upon the whole world over a space of seven years and during those seven years, it's, it's called the Great Tribulation, it's called Jacob's Trouble, and it's referred to as the Great Tribulation Period. And it will, the Lord and prophecy and, and the truth, what God has revealed will happen, because only God knows what will, what will happen. And because God has, because of his advent, the eternal God has come into creation completed his work on the cross so by completing his work and getting the victory over death and sin he's put he's put an end to it and he's given a prophecy that he will return and he will remove his if you're not there and, and the whole world will be judged and overpowered by the most powerful force unleashed that the world has ever seen or could comprehend and that's the devil and, the, and because of sin, the devil, that gives power over an uh, eternal fallen uh, creature from heaven, uh, an angel that is uh, banished in this in this earth. And he uh, sets up. He has power over men's hearts because of sin. And sin produces mammon. Mammon's the world, the pride of life, having it all, dominating ruling over people and uh, all philosophies of man are counterfeit are against the trinity are against the word of God are against the salvation of all mankind because they're antichrist this world is antichrist our nature is antichrist we are until we're redeemed by the blood of Jesus Christ we are sinful and therefore we're not the chief we're not the seed of God we're the seed of Satan and we're corrupted and it's only through the precious blood and grace of Jesus Christ that we can have that inner change by his righteousness we can be completed by his righteousness and have a change of heart and then we can continue believing and fearing God and doing good we won't do evil because we fear God and we've received the truth therefore we're not going to do evil or lie we can lie and we can do evil but we fear God and it's wrong if you have no foundation if you have no testimony you, 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 you're like the world you can change your mind you know one minute it's Brexit 
the minute we're vote, you know we're having a referendum on Brexit, and, we, and then we're having another referendum to see if we really want to remain in Brexit or not. <coughs> Mankind swings backwards and forwards to and fro, and he doesn't know whether he's coming or going because he's lost, and the whole world's lost. And and uh, that's simply the truth, and uh, that's what I'm reaching out with in, in this testimony and video. Another thing I, I'd like to uh, mention as well, also, uh, having experienced um, persecution and tar electronic targeting now, I'm not going to get into that too much, but that's just a method used to uh, covertly harass people, aggravate them or whatever, whatever the instruments are used for in the context of a, a you know, a, a devilish plan against a person or a group of people but there's an online there's, there's many online platforms reaching out and seeking justice for TIs and being the voice for targeted individuals and uh, there was another site and this is again me recommending things I shouldn't really recommend anything but I, I always rec uh, um, just advise people to go and examine them for themselves because uh, you know there is some, there is, there is truth in all things. There is, there is gold in all, all, all buckets of sand, as they say. Uh, but um, I, I said to people about uh, giving a giving a testimony on being a targeted individual that if they go and check out TI TV, and I've been keeping an eye on these guys, and they're, they're you know they they seem genuine enough, and I believe they are. Their testimonies seem. And appear real, they know, you know, they have experienced an element of what this um, this widespread uh, electronic harassment that's going on in the world and, and the UK currently, and and has been for some time. Um, but I, you know, I I've recently been watching their testimony, and and, and like I thought, because it. it like all these platforms, without a foundation, without real, you know, real testimony and understanding of the world and, and the devil. Now the world doesn't believe in the power of the devil and how it has a um, hold over all ambiguous, all, all these um, Freemasons, the Jesuits and all all things in man's heart are under the, the yoke of of the world, of the powers of the world, and these powers are spiritual powers that work through man's nature and physically um, these uh, corrupt the world they lead the world astray, they undermine our government, they undermine our laws and and through, through the power of Satan, he disrupts all peace in all families' lives, in all walks of life. And he is the prince of this world. And the world is slaved. Its nature is slave to the governing head of this sin nature. And this sin nature is the head principality of the sin nature. This force is Satan, is the devil. And he controls and works through all these secret societies, all these forces against our nation's government, uh, and even the individuals in the government. Uh, it's um, and people make even make bad choices or good choices. And the devil has power, and, and through the mistakes and sin of mankind, the um, the rope and the cart rope of iniquity continues to be pulled up the road to the, the way the devil wants it. The devil's in full control because people have rejected the truth. Therefore, at default, they get what they justly deserve, and that's the power and captivity of a force that they're slave to, and that's sin, and that's Satan. So we're in a probation. We're under the sovereign control of our almighty, loving God. He sent his son in the world to free us from this captivity, this power, this vice. And, and the devil is the driver of all vice. 
he, he, cap he undermines powers, nations, governments, whatever the vice, whatever the weaknesses in a man's nature, Satan will uh, manipulate that and, get, and compromise and get people hooked, enslaved. And, we were, and the whole world's enslaved. And the world is heading for judgment. It's heading for, read your Bible, read the King James Bible, read Revelation. Read uh, the book of Daniel, the prophecies of Daniel in Second Daniel, Daniel chapter eight and nine, or, and and examine these things and see if, because the once you've received the truth, you, then you can go and find where the truth is and and to find the right evidence, and you'll see these things that mammon, that all the power, all the players on the world, all the all the chief players that are serving Satan uh, uh, in operation and we have a revelation to see where it's going we know where it's going if you know the Lord Jesus Christ you believe him and therefore you believe his word therefore you know when he says something he's faithful to his word and he he's given a commission to all Christians to warn this is all the he taught Christians to love thy neighbor as thyself and warn warn people to love God with all your heart, mind and strength. You can only love God until you've received the love of God. You can't love and know God until you've been loved by him and received that love. When you've received that love, then you know what that love is. And then you'll be able to express that in your weakness, in your sinful, fallen, uh, wicked nature, because we're all abominations. There's a proverb, you know, it's it's better to be a, a living dog than a dead lion, and I am a, I am a living dog. I've been saved from generations of, of sin, of, of, of wickedness, and and just corruption. And I was no good. And Jesus Christ saved me. He reached out and he he fought to die for me. He fought what I can't comprehend. What he went through for me. And the whole world, not just me alone, but you and everybody else that ever lived. People you hate and can't forgive. He's offered that forgiveness and that is on offer. And that was completed on the cross and that remains the light and the truth to the whole world. And if you miss that, you missed, you, you've missed out on eternal life. And, and that's why you go to hell. And that's why God is just. And he requires that simple belief and that step of faith and because of Jesus Christ we have repentance repentance just means a change of, a change of mind to look to the cross have a change of direction to look away from the way you're going in life on a fast on the fast bus to hell because you, the whole world remains in ignorance yoke to sin yoke to the powers and, it's got, and when it dies, it, it, it's unredeemed, therefore it remains sinful, it remains dead in sin, therefore it can't go anywhere else but where God has put a place for it. And that's hell, and that's below. And he displayed that on the cross with the two thieves. One thief believed and went to paradise, one thief didn't. He went to hell and he remains there today. That's a horrible thing. And when you're saved and you think about that, you think, oh, I, I've, I've not only escaped that, I, I can't wish that on anybody. I wouldn't wish that on anybody. I wouldn't want to convict someone from that fate. But that's a fate that's in your own hands. And that's your choice. It's your life. It's your choice. We're born. We're born before death. Death's, death's a certainty. And if you die unsaved, you remain unsaved. If you call upon the Lord Jesus Christ, if you call upon my Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ, our Lord, he's the whole world's Lord, but the whole world has rejected him, therefore it remains sinful and the world will continue on in that sin. And that's why God has judged it. He's already judged it on the cross and it's coming. So if you're hearing this and you want, you want to know for yourself, get on your knees, call upon the Lord and believe in faith, he will answer he will do all the saving and then he'll sort you out and steer you clear of, of all the lies and all the pitfalls and he will comfort you and he will edify you, 
He will build you up in, in the faith. And he will change your life from the very first moment. And then, and then you'll walk daily in that new life as a new creature, but with your old sinful nature under your feet to trip you up and to catch you out. And he's given you that eternal grace in your probation, but if you miss that and you die, you'll go the way of the world to hell. And hell's not a very nice place. It's not something that's created to get you to believe. It's just like if uh, you're jumping out of an aeroplane and you don't believe you're going to hit the ground. You know, oh, you're just saying that to get me to pull my parachute. Well, no, we're getting you to, we're getting you to pull your parachute because it's going to break your fall, save your life. And that's simply the gospel. So um, I pray that that uh, reaches someone, especially someone in a desperate situation because... Uh, the world is it's not getting any better it's going to get worse and if you if you understand the truth you can see the corrupt powers at work and you can discern the forces and how they're incrementally moving forward by lies by deception by deceived people um, our whole world is deceived uh, good people can be be deceived uh, politicians are all always deceived they don't they don't necessarily take part in a conspiracy the conspiracy conspiracy is that mankind's full got a fallen nature and and they can be deceived they can believe lies they can believe their own grandeur or delusional idea there's so many forces against uh, the human race and the only remedy to to ourselves is the lord jesus christ and he will put his righteousness and hold you up by his righteousness and complete you, you in your unrighteousness so you would put on his righteousness and live for him and not yourself and not for the world therefore you won't be adding to the world you won't be adding to the problems you'll be offering a solution by the grace of, the, of God what God's given you freely through his son Jesus Christ and that's a free gift Another thing I would like to mention is um, recently, uh, which is an awful proposition made by some architects and some a, a design and memorial for the Grenfell Tower. Now, observing this and hearing, I heard it on a radio broadcast and uh, phoning people, giving their views on. Well, I, I didn't see the media story, but in the media, was, um, these architects, whoever they are, and by the mainstream media having the power to get a voice, release these um, ideas and expressions of what they think should be a memorial for the Grenfell Tower, which was uh, to encase the structure in concrete and then to have black panels and have this obelisk now to me that's that's from the devil himself who is setting up um you know it it creates it's like a funeral it opens up the wound of the family and puts them in a bottleneck and and milks milks the grief for what people's worth and what this proposal was i i felt was an um to constantly wound people, to constantly remind people of the awful event and uh, I believe the people behind it, the same people behind uh, the orchestrating of it, the, the, the sort of, to me, um, no, I could be wrong, but in my opinion it had all the hallmarkings of a, a, a ritual sacrifice, it, it, it's just, uh, that, that's what it suggests to me, it's sick and it's, it's spun out of lies and main, main mainstream propaganda and it's um, this memorial idea to me was just uh, uh, the voice of those people behind it getting their, their uh, getting their opinions known and getting their designs you know to replace uh, the, the the tower the block that was once um, teeming with many lives that are now being destroyed to put up this eyesore of a memorial 
and an eyesore to the skyline to remind people of that awful tragedy, having that um, traumatic memory uh, constantly held up in, in their memory, you know, that's like, that's, that's an insult. So I wanted to m mention uh, the, that something else I caught on the, the mainstream media was this uh, Grenfell Tower. Um, to me it's disgusting and I, 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 I'd like to hear what the, what really went on and uh, one day we will find out the truth. But to me it was that, that what should never have happened and, and that mantra, that, let's make sure that it never happens again, that's been thrust so many times, it's just wearing so thin, it's got holes in it. You know, this uh, the, you can't even... You, you try building a house or rewire, do, doing some electrical wiring in your home. You won't get permission to do it. You need to be, you need to be fully qualified. You can change a plug, but you can't, you, you can't put any light, light fittings in without it being passed and certified and lawfully corrected. So how, you know, this lie that the whole the whole building went up in flames. You wouldn't. You wouldn't get planning permission to build a shed if the fire regulations weren't up to scratch. The, the standards are so high that this shouldn't have happened. It couldn't have happened. So therefore, what, what did happen? It happened deliberately in the name of it as an accident and a lack of money. It was, in my opinion, it was that it was like a 9/11. You know, it was in. In the name of a lie, it happened. It, 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 you know, 9 11 still denied to this day by the world. Nobody speaks about it. You know, because it, oh, it's an insult to the family. Um, it, it reminds them of the tragedy. Well, we're, the whole world was uh, scarred by that scene and affected by that world event. And every, anyone with eyes and, and common sense could see that that was brought down like a demolition building. And naturally that wouldn't happen. Uh, the structure wouldn't, still wouldn't melt. The building wouldn't collapse like that unless it had help. It had help. And therefore the whole world's thrust has been shaken and undermined by that corruption and that has permeated, that has caused a all this um, mattering of the teeth and all this anxiety and this um, speculation and what people think is this and, 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 and you know, all, all this um, regurgitating is um, through, tra through, tra through the trauma of these events. And Grenfell Tower, to me, is another public traumatic event. And putting up an awful memorial like that would just be reinforcing it by the power and bondage and that we're slave to in this world. The uh, the secret works and in hidden spiritual places, wickedness in high places, working through those powers behind all nations and all peoples and all persons on this world, the devil. So I wanted to cover that um, Grenfell Tower, good money. 10 bits worth on it. Uh, that's something that struck me as, as disgusting. Uh, but it, do, it doesn't surprise me. I just thought that was a, a tell. A telling um, acknowledgement of the sick people behind our world who'd like to get their ideas across, whether that was a, just a sick, stupid, thoughtless thing or that was actually sponsored by someone. That was deliberate. My, my, my opinions and feelings, that was deliberate by the people who'd done it. Uh, and just to just to stick out their tongue and lick, lick, and their the, the display of power over people, over people's ignorance, and uh, they're evil. But you know, I, I may be wrong, but that's what I thought. And another thing, um, being a Mormon, I was uh, deceived by Mormonism. Um, a long time ago, I was uh, about twenty four, twenty five. And I just gained a testimony of Jesus Christ, and I wanted to join a church. So um, I met somebody who said that they were Christian, but they weren't. 
They were a Mormon. I did, they didn't tell me they were a Mormon, but they gave me the address to the, these missionaries, and I went and checked them out. And they agreed with all the testimony that I shared them, and in hindsight, they, you know, some um, missionaries are just, just say anything to get you in the door, and uh, they don't teach you what, what the doctrine really, what the church really teaches. And it's uh, just one quick area I wanted to cover, and that was because um, I mentioned earlier modalism. I want to cover poly poly polytheism, which is many gods, and uh, the Mormons teach. First, they teach that God speaks, still speaks through a prophet, where the word of God, um, and dis uh, Jesus Christ, is spoken. That God has spoken through His Son, Jesus Christ, and we don't need prophets. Prophets are over. We have uh, the testimony of the Word of God, which is manifest in the flesh, Jesus Christ, and we receive Him through faith, appropriating, appropriating this atonement. So that's uh, that kills the Mormon Church. Like um, Paul said, I robbed all churches of wages to do your service. Well, God's given us um, all a free bite of the cake, um, all all piece of the bread, the eternal life for free, you don't need religion, don't need man, don't need man-made systems, you don't need prophets. So any 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 faith with a prophet um, is done away with by the by the truth. You don't don't need a prophet. So when I was a Mormon, um, I didn't I, I, I had a testimony to try you in God and I confirmed that and they agreed and and, and then I was baptized into the, the church in the name of God the Father, in the name of God the Son and God the Holy Spirit. I just didn't know the bigger picture, so eventually I I came to my senses and learned and uh, and was delivered from, by grace through through my testimony in the word, learning the word, being naive of the word and ignorant. I, I escaped uh, by the grace of God, but they teach many gods that God the Father, that their their God, the Mormon God, the Mormon Jesus, and the Mormon God. The, the Mormon God the Father, um, there's many fathers, there's eternal fathers, one after the other, and each of those fa fathers come to the earth to be a man, to go through a mortal probation to qualify for eternal life. So what the Mormon teaching is, is that, that God is many, that there's many gods, and that's polytheism, that there's more than one God, whereas the, the Word of God, the Bible teaches there's only one God, and that was manifest through the Son of God and the Word of God, the Lord Jesus Christ. So what Mormonism teaches and how it's false is that, that, then, that, that God can't be eternal, because you can't have eternal God without having... A God that's always existed, you know, the God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob, the God of the Bible, the living, the true and living God has always existed, there's no God beside him. And he didn't need to be, uh, go through a mortal probation, because he's always been God, he's always been holy, he's always been all wise, all intelligent, omnipotent, omnipresent, he, he's uh, all things, he is God, the soul the sole core of all things and through his son all, all all things were created by him and for him so mormonism teaches that god was uh, there was a an eternal um running of god's becoming living a mortal existence of probation to become to re receive Godhead which is a, a Luciferian uh, doctrine that man can become as God and that's what Mormonism teaches and uh, it teaches a false faith, a false Christ and it will lead you to hell if you if you believe that will save you it's a works, like all religion, it's a works you have to earn your salvation after all you can do it, then God, then it will appropriate God's grace. Well, God's grace is free. You can't add or take away from it. It's a free gift, and uh, man is sinful, and he has no part in part in his salvation except for either receiving it or rejecting it. So the Mormon Church teaches that their God, their heavenly Father, was a 
a man and he became a god. No, it doesn't. Now, what, what it overlooks and what, where it falls short is, well, who's the saviour of, who's the first saviour of that god? And its own doctrine teaches that Jesus Christ was the eternal saviour. So the, the Mormon doctrine teaches that the son is the eternal saviour of all the fathers before it. But Jesus had to, you know, it's, it's complete nonsense. You can't have an eternal God who becomes a God because who was God before them? Who was holy before God become the, the sinful father, become a, a holy son? So how did the father become holy? Well, if he, you go through that pattern, there had to be an eternal God from the beginning with no, with no beginning or end which is what the truth is, that there's only one God and he didn't, he, he'd he never sinned and he didn't need a probation to become a God, he's always been God. So the Mormon doctrine, poly, polytheism, is completely false and the Mormon, if you're a Mormon and uh, you, uh, you believe in the Jesus Christ of Mormonism, it's a false Jesus, it's a false gospel, it's a false prophet, and it's a full system and, and it will condemn you to hell and being yoked to it is, is rejecting the Lord Jesus Christ is rejecting salvation through through faith alone by his grace and you're believing you can earn your salvation by keeping the ordinances of a false religion which is antichrist which is against the gospel because it deceives people from receiving the gospel so Mormonism Doctrine falls down in all areas once it's examined and measured by the word, measured by the preserved, authorised King James Bible. And that's what the, the Mormon church uses. And all these cults are just to turn your eye away from salvation, the triune nature of God, the free gift of salvation, the eternal security of a believer once they've received it, the rapture of the church, the uh, preservation of the Holy Word in the King James Bible, and the millennial, uh, the the judgment of the earth and the millennial reign of the Lord Jesus Christ, as the Bible, as the Lord has revealed it and laid down in the Bible, and all all things in the world, all religions are counterfeit. They are um, an imitation. Some can. Some, like the Catholic Church, it contains many truths. The Mormon Church contains many truths. The Jehovah's Witness, it uses many truths out of the Bible. It holds up what it believes the Bible is. But the Bible is what it is, it's the truth. And the receiver of the truth knows what the truth is. It, that you can't... You, it's given to you, and then you learn what you've been given. It's not learn and um, it's a gift and the Holy Word confirms that you've received that gift and it's straight in you are and the Word is straight and you need to receive the, the love of God and the forgiveness of God to, for Him to straighten you from within that's why the scripture says you must be born again so putting your faith in any of these um, other Jesuses, other religions will condemn your soul, will, will keep you away from salvation. But also you can receive salvation and then fall into the, these pitfalls that are temporarily, these uh, systems and get deceived. But the Lord will deliver you from these situations. If you remain faithful and study and grow in his word, he will... You will be scold you will be scolded. I was sued in my conscience for touching uh, Mormonism, it really and Roman Catholicism, even going in a Catholic church it severely hurt my testimony, my young testimony as a Christian. It was like having my guts sucked out. It was um really vexing to the Holy Spirit and I was very naive and you know, it's not not experience I got over very quickly. I got over Mormonism more quickly than I did going into a Catholic mass, or into a, um, a Dominican service on a New Year, Christmas Eve or something. It was awful. I had to run for the door. I had to fight to get out of the door. So 
so vexed and heavy by the shame and the guilt of it and the awful feeling of the hopelessness of Roman Catholicism. I really did pity those people in there. So um, if you're a Catholic or a Mormon or a Jehovah's Witness, you, all you need is the Lord Jesus. You don't need anybody else. You need just the testimony and his word and, his, uh, and the holy written word and to study that and trust in him. Trust in him above all things and receive him. And uh, he'll teach you the truth of all what's false by, by his preserved word. It's a standard, it's a, it's a sealed, finished book. It's complete and it's a, a just measure. As Jesus Christ is, the written word is. It's the eternal and it's faithful and it's true. And now I want to cover some um, observations I've made recently on, on the news and what's going on in the UK from a, from a Christian perspective, from a biblical perspective and uh, just reading the discerning really the signs of the times and uh, wondering about these things and uh, praying, you know, praying for the world, praying, praying for peace praying that uh, the word and the gospel will continue to uh, be extended and have free course because uh, the Lord is uh, in this probation, in this dispensation, this period of uh, the world's history, the Lord is stretched out, he is stretched out that all may know him. He desires that all, all men, all mankind, that's man and woman, he desires that they are saved and that they will know him, they will know of his love, his grace, his life, his purpose, and that, and to receive that purpose for themselves alone, through him alone, through no other than the Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ, the only mediator to the Almighty Father and the living God with and in Him. And uh, I want to just um, mention a few a few things I've caught caught up on um, just recently over over the last month, few months or so, through this hot weather and through through the summer. Now one's um, anti-Semitism, so I want to I wanna cover on to that. Uh, fake news, um, Darwinism is another one I want to hit. Uh, Islam, that's another one I want to slam. Islam, with the, with the truth, with the word. And just some things I've, I've been noticed creeping and working together and building up and edging forward and where this is leading and looking in the the Holy Word, looking in the preserved scriptures, in the Word of God, what is what is to take place and where we are in in context in relation to those times. Now, um, personally, I'm uh, you know I'm praying, Lord, you know, come, come back, come. I've had enough, of it. but I'm just so grateful for this life. Uh, you know, however difficult I find it, however hard it is, and I, I can rejoice at each day and I and I'm grateful for that opportunity I think this is a time where the Lord is um, you know outstretched to the you know every everybody has always needed saving but it's like the last time it's the last kind of the last call for repentance to receive hope and salvation the free gift of salvation that's only found and that only will be found in faith in alone in Jesus Christ um, so I, I, I've noticed um, quite a few things um, another one was gangs and violence building in, in, in the cities and probably not so much in suburban towns but in the, the major cities and the, the hub of the 
of the world, uh, the hubs of the world. Um, just uh, let me start with um, anti-Semitism. Now, now the word word really, uh, no, any prejudice is uh, wrong. So, um, uh, apart from prejudice against what is wrong with the truth, you know, standing for the truth is not going to please what is wrong. I don't mean prejudice against what is wrong. I mean any prejudice towards race or person. You know, um, God's not a respecter of persons. Now, Jesus Christ was a Jew, and the the Christian faith teaches that from the heart. What what a believer! What a Christian believer! Now, if you wanna you wanna know what a Christian believes, ask a Christian. Not not religion, not what professing religion claims as the voice of Christianity, but what the Bible, because the Bible is the authority. It is the final word. It is the truth, the revealed truth of God, the revealed word of God, the revealed life of the Lord Jesus Christ that is his written word that is his living word it is a spiritual living sealed completed book it could have have millions of pages added to it it could have pages taken from it but he has given us the King James Bible the Old Testament and the New Testament Jesus Christ is the fulfillment the living embodiment of the New Testament testament the new covenant and both covenants are from him from god the eternal father through his word the word of god jesus christ and the word reveals the truth of all that is untrue all that is unfounded and god's not a respecter of any person so he was a jew he came to say the Jews the Old Testament is to the Jews and for the Jews salvation was by the Jews for the Jews first for the whole world to receive along with them and because of Christ fulfilled the Old Covenant it's still to the Jews and it's still for the, the whole world the Jew and the Gentile Christians are not against any persecuting any race any any religion any if people want to believe a lie they they will believe a lie a christian's job is not to force anybody to surrender to their will god will not compel anybody to believe you either freely believe and accept or you freely don't you have liberty you you have agency god has created man with agency Hence why this world continues on as it did from the beginning, going its own way, trampling over people, walking over the, the poor and the afflicted and holding up its own righteousness, its own goodness in the sake of its own purpose, its own way. And its own way is a, 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 a big conglomerate of ambiguous desire and that desire is, is, is based on vanity because all things in this life are vanity without the truth your whole life is vain everything in the world you're not going to make this world a better place you're not going to fix this um, planet this planet is um, going to it's going to go wrong it's going to uh, god is going to judge the wickedness of mankind for rejecting the truth it goes its own way therefore God has put a, an end to it man because of unbelief has free agency and approbation and he has a free choice and if he continues to reject now is the day of salvation if he continually rejects that day to day in unbelief because sin is unbelief anything that's not founded on faith alone in Jesus Christ is sin because only through Jesus Christ can we have a forgiveness of sin and, and have a clean sheet and a, a perfect foundation to build upon now without him the world, the world continues in sin the Jew and the Gentile 
Now, Christians do not persecute the Jews. The Jews are... It, what the world doesn't teach you about the truth is that the Jews are the people of God. There's no other way that that, that race could have come into existence except by God, because we have his word. We have his word in the Old Testament. We have his son. We've received his son. We've received his word. Therefore, we know the, the Old Testament was true. Therefore, we know that the Jews are from God because they gave us the law and the law is from God it's not from man because the law is just and it's holy and it convicts men of sinners that we're sinful and the world is under condemnation that was the law given to the Jews and the Jews were under sin they had to make sin offerings to keep them in the way and the way has come the way is Jesus Christ is the same today as he was in the beginning eternal he's eternal and he's unchanging he's outstretched to his people the Jews can be saved today as well as the Gentiles he loves his people you if you don't believe that if you're if if you believe the Christian church has persecuted um, the Jews um, those people were either deceived Christians being led astray by antichrist antichrist forces in the name of Christianity against the Jews using Christ Christ's name and Christ uh, and deceive people in Christ to persecute the Jews but Christians are for the Jews because that's where our salvation comes from the king of the Jews the Lord the God of Abraham Isaac and Jacob so although the Jews have rejected Jesus doesn't mean that Jesus and God doesn't love them and he knows that they are they are in unbelief that they're hardened in their sin and they were scattered but he didn't give a green light to persecute them it wasn't it wasn't solely the Jews who crucified Christ it was the whole world it was it was the Romans it was the uh, the mammon. It was greed. It was lust. It was the power of Herod, the the Babylonian um, powers under the Roman governorship, and the Jews were um, the uh, elders of uh, the people of Israel were yoked to um, these powers and corruptions. It was a uh, sin that crucified Christ Christ said forgive them father for they know not what they do and he, he's outstretched to the Jew first always they're always on, in, in his heart he's going to save the people of Israel it was his heart and spirit that, and word that brought Israel back into their land and that is a fact if you deny that you're you, you're blinded by your own unbelief and you won't see the truth the, um, the people in Israel today amongst all the sin and all the corruption are the children of Abraham the seed of Abraham the seed of uh, the, the tribes of Judah and the, the, the seed of Israel you know the divided kingdom of, of uh, God's people Abraham's family the, the sons of Abraham and that line was, uh, Christ came through that line. He was the Redeemer, the Beloved, the Son, the Anointed, Holy, Prophet, High Priest, and God and Saviour. And he was Jewish. And he's still Jewish. And he's forever Jewish. So any persecution against um, uh, the Jews is, um, is wrong. But um, any persecution, to, you know, anti-Semitism is used by um, anti-Semites to stir uh, all this trouble about uh, Jeremy Corbyn. I don't know Jeremy Corbyn's heart, but it, you know, was the media putting him in a full spotlight that he was being anti-Semitic just to stir up anti-Semitic or reinforce the the false use of it? Um, I don't condone uh, any persecution against any race, whether they're Muslim, whether they're Buddhist, whether they're Jews. You know, um, the Jews are a race, whereas um, 
Islam are not a race, it's a religion. Whereas the, the, the Hebrew race have their own religion because if it wasn't for uh, the Almighty God, we wouldn't have the Jews and the, the two go hand in hand. But with Islam, it's a counterfeit, it's a lie. It's Darwinism, it, it, it's anti-Christ and it's anti-Jew. And that's the sole purpose of Islam, is to persecute Jews and persecute Christians in the name of a false god. Um, so anti-Semitism is wrong, but it, 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 it's wrong to be, um, you know, to persecute anyone. God's not a respecter of persons. He's, he died to save all men, the Jew and Gentile. And all are, out, all, all are under condemnation. If you're not saved, that's the whole world. That's every nation. That's every government. That's every person. That's every soul is under condemnation and Jesus Christ the Son of God has mercifully died and stretched out what he completed on the cross is um, there to be appropriated is in action to be appropriated but if you die and miss that you miss your chance and if the time passes in the world's judgment and he removes his church he removes the Holy Spirit and he brings about judgment to redeem Jacob to, to that's why he's brought Israel back into the land, to judge all nations, to judge the world for sin and unbelief. And there we have the people of God, we have the law of God that every, every just principle is founded on, the, uh, the law of witnesses, uh, righteousness came by the law, and every nation has, has, has taken part of that. Even our, our own uh, nations founded on the, the, that principle because of God. It came from God, and be, and Great Britain is founded on Christian principles. You know, yeah, people lost their lives to preserve our liberties and our freedoms. It's all Christian principle. We didn't go to um, war against Muslims and the war we, uh, against ca the Catholic Church. It, that was the other way around. These 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 um, religions persecuted the. Uh, the Christians in in the in Great Britain and murdered people, murdered them, and it goes on today. The uh, the Catholic Church hasn't changed its uh, doctrine; it's still Antichrist. <coughs> <coughs> so is Mormonism, and so is Darwinism. Um, so there shouldn't be any any anti-Semitism in the Christian Church. Um, and so if you're a, a Hebrew or a Jew, uh, it was it was a Catholic uh, teachings and apostate um, beliefs that uh, persecuted the Jews. Uh, it, it's not right to persecute the Jews on the pretense that they crucified Christ. That's, uh, that's against what Christ is. Christ is love and mercy and forgiveness. He's stretched out to the Jew first and the Gentile. And they can be saved today. Uh, as lo uh, as much as anyone else and they need to hear the gospel they need to hear that their Messiah is the Lord Jesus Christ and they can know him they can receive him through faith simply themselves and they will see the, the truth in the, in, in the Old Testament they will see the triune nature of God in the Old Testament because they will receive him and they will be brought into his fellowship into his heavenly kingdom and they will know. They will all. They will know. Like the scripture says, when Israel was saved, they will all know the Savior. They will all know God. But the world, it, it's the, the the people of Israel are a testament, a testimony against the world. Even though they're in unbelief, the Lord has gathered them back. Uh, people were returned to Israel because they wanted their home. They were drawn by uh, a spirit. Now there were, of course, there was corruption and, and wickedness surrounding, surrounding that that act, that um, that event. But it was it was in the sovereign hands of God. It was prophecy. It wasn't prophecy being forced to happen. It has happened. Israel has always been given. It was given to the Jews. Uh, Jerusalem has always been the the holy city of of those people yeah, and that's where our saviour um, 
um, ministered that's where he his ministry was in Israel for the people and it spread to the whole world the light come out of Jerusalem the hope of the gospel and if it wasn't for him if it wasn't for the Jews we wouldn't have Christ if it wasn't for the Jews we wouldn't have freedom we wouldn't have liberty we wouldn't have justice or mercy it would be pagan heathens it would be a complete Darwinistic uh, you know the biggest dog wins you know the, the, the you know the, the lion dominate the whole the whole pack you know Christ is shown a different way you know he's the, he's the only righteous and we're um, invited into his kingdom into his righteousness to sh to uh, experience that love and that uh, selflessness and that grace and that pureness and he will give that freely uh, on belief and I want to cover um, yeah, just Darwinism quickly if you look at what Darwinism done in, in an antichrist context it is um, in when it was first well for a fact the um, before Darwinism the whole world scientific community and people generally the common people Christians accepted and principally could show from the from what the Bible teaches the truth that God is the creator and because we have creation we have the evidence that we have an intelligent designer and because God has revealed his design in his word he's given us his word that he created the world and how he did that and why he did that and he's testified that uh, uh, the human he's ma he's mapped out and laid down the human genome he's mapped down inheritance of blood inheritance of dna of sin of good and of bad of recessive of pr of dominant he's mapped out the seed that an oak tree a pine tree well, can only produce seed of its own kind that grass can only produce seed of its own kind and uh, fruit can only produce seed of its own kind it doesn't cross species it, it's uh, created before it came into existence God created it in order um, order doesn't come from chaos chaos comes from chaos lies come from chaos saying it's order comes from chaos it's a lie only only order only order can come from order and uh, um, an order has to exist bef if, if there's chaos order must exist before it to bring about any order because you can't have chaos bring about chaos in because it's chaotic it's cha it has no order within itself so how can chaos bring about chaos even randomly it, it's a lie order establishes order but rebellion and disobedience brings chaos and chaos brings sin and confusion and it disrupts peace disrupts harmony and that's where uh, Satan has overpowered mankind through lies deception he said um, to Eve that God said to Adam and Eve if you eat the tree of good of evil knowledge you, you will die and Satan said uh, you, you should you shall surely not die but you will be like God it was a lie from the beginning and and they sinned they were disobedient to God's will God's heart and God's mind and they disobeyed because they disobeyed they marked put a black mark sin and that sin developed and that sin is why we have chaos and confusion and we have so many opinion and all this different blurring and all this um, fracturing of the world and the quickening of the world the the rate that things are getting out of control and every man goes his own way everyone's trying to do their own thing the world hasn't they'll never get it right because it's chaos it's chaotic it's unfounded therefore it can only bring about chaos and destruction because it's denied the truth it's denied order so from the beginning 
uh, it's all you know the truth is scientifically can be measured creation can be me measured and proved the law can be measured and proved the Jews and Israel can be measured and proved that it's from God and Jesus Christ can be measured and proved because any individual can receive him and know him and therefore continue to believe and receive the truth and therefore build upon the truth they've received and they will see that because of God we have freedom, we have liberty, we have choice and therefore we have opposition to that choice which is, which is sin and death and the devil and only Christ has overcome sin and death and the devil and it's only through Christ can we escape our own nature, our slave, our bondage to sin and death and hell and um, the time that Darwin, Darwinism was a sponsored paper and it was pushed through in, in you know it was it was favored over over creation although that scientifically creation could lawfully show itself approved in a court of law whereas Darwinism can't because it's based on a lie it's based on there's no evidence to support Darwinism it's a faith-based theory and what it did in in the 1800s and um, and by the way uh, during that time, one year later, the paper was was released on the um, the, the uh, genetic um, inheritance for for plants and humans, and that that came from uh, the book of Genesis and the the principles of God's word from a monk who bred um, plants in his orchard, who bred peas, and he mapped out all the inheritance of uh, genetics and from that science has grown he is the that seed that knowledge is the, the foundation of all genetic science today that that paper came out the same time as Darwin's theory of you know the uh, of evolution the big bang theory and uh, and, and how how speak man's evolved from um, you know uh, from plankton or whatever and, and how it was a lie and that was sponsored and the truth and the paper for that supports today's science which is uh, genetic inheritance and creation because that's what science shows and that's what the evidence shows but people still believe in Darwinism it's sponsored in schools it's sponsored by governments and, and I tell you why because Satan wants the world to be against each other now God God has uh, given us diversity but Satan wants uh, to have division in, and to corrupt the diversity and uh, unify it falsely and bring it all into one lump under his control under deception and lies but um, Darwinism done one thing to the human race when it was released it set every nation against itself because it lifted up the carrot of who's the best race who are the best and it's this is what you see Darwinism in religion who is better than the other one who's got the truth who's the best race who's the purest you know and this is man's nature vanity because it hasn't the truth doesn't have the truth it's lacking in the truth so it's anxious doesn't know what the truth is it has to measure who's got the truth who's better than I am who's the greatest who's the best race and this is a, this is what kicked off World War 2 World War 1 who's the greatest race who can produce the best who can do this and, and it's a rat race and this is Darwinism this is the seed Darwinism supports survival of the fittest, survival of the most evil and the most dominant, dog eat dog, and it sets mankind one against the other. <coughs> Satan wants to use that to then bring it all into one subjection, falsely, in, in peace, and this is um, woven into all religions, um, all faith, uh, the ecumenical movement by all the churches together. Headed, headed by the idea and the seed of the Roman Catholic Church to bring all, all Christian faiths into one lump, onto subjection of one mothership, one authorship, 
and that's that denies the truth that denies Christianity that denies the rock that denies the word given and the word freely on offer to all it's antichrist system in the name of truth in the name of unity in the name of peace but ecumenism ecumenism in the religious Christian world today is a false yoke it's yoked with liars it's yoked with mammon and it's compromised and it deceives people and it's not giving you the true gospel it's giving you a false gospel in the name of Christ to get a load of people that believe in Jesus Christ yoked to do things in its name so Satan can manipulate the whole lump and use it in on the world stage to have a, an effect against Christianity because it gives it a bad name and it, it hedges up the way of the truth it is anti-truth in the name of the truth and people who um, subscribe to it have compromised themselves and given over the truth given over Jesus Christ and taken up a false gospel a false yoke and anyone who's and they're sharing it with the world so it's a big net and the world utilizes this compromise because it, it it's a powerful figurehead of peace on the board religion is one of the biggest powers of the modern western world christianity the christian state church because it's owned and run by hierarchy by powers it's unchristian it's unbiblical and uh, all you need is the word to show that and uh, ecumenism is another darwinistic um, satanic natural vain delusion grand design to uh, bring all Christians into unity and these people uh, don't speak out against the truth so it's like um, if you were a, a young family a husband and wife and a, a, a few children sitting around your kitchen table you wouldn't uh, in the name of peace have uh, paedophiles and murderers and rapists sitting at you in the just so just to put those thing your differences aside and come together and hold hands with them unless they were repentant and they they, they would show that they're not going to do those things that they're that they were wicked so that's what the ecumenic, uh, ecumenical movements like it's in bed with liars it's in bed with murderers and powerful forces that corrupt and deceive the whole world in the name of the holy truth which is free a free gift on offer and it's preserved in the word it doesn't uh, it doesn't um, God doesn't need a church he is the church the church is a believer a, a, a believer that's received the word of his testimony and he indwells them so where two believers are that's where the church are and and the ecumenical church is a false church to net other believers and corrupt Christianity in the name of Christ and that is headed by Satan who uses the powers on the table and that's the Roman Catholic Church the whore and all, all that are in bed with her are harlots and they are, they are the voice of Christianity today it's, 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 it's an abomination and it's against all, all, all nations uh, freedoms and liberties it's yoked to the European Union and it's all it's designed and all it's yoked with mammon and it's a kingdom of this world trying to build its own kingdom trying to get in bed with the world to make the world a better place now the world's going to kill people and stamp on people to get its own way in the name of peace and lies and that's been revealed in the gospel and that's and if you've got any common sense you see that in man's nature how mankind is uh changing he's you know he's two-faced can't be trusted you can't trust any you can't trust the flesh 
You can only trust for, for salvation. You can only trust in the Lord Jesus Christ. And you and 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 once you you have Him, then you know who you, who you can trust and when you can trust people. But you can't trust people all the time. The world is going to fail. Mankind will fail, and the world thinks it's you know it's just going to carry on going and everything's going to be fine. But the world's getting worse and worse, and this is to do with the 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 heart and philosophy of Darwinism and that is rife in in Islam, in Christianity, it's the same nature. Dog eat dog, the the, the bully the bully rules and that's what Islam is. It it means surrender or else. And and it all all um it, in the UK uh this uh, Islam is uh, all the um Muslims now they're not a they're not a race of people, they're not not all Muslims are or Asian, you know. Um, it's a false dichotomy to cause contention against Christ Christians and Jews. Now, now a Christian can only teach truly and genuinely what the Word teaches, because without the Word, a Christian's nothing. He's empty. So the fine the Word of a Christian it has to align with the word of God now the word of God is Jesus Christ and he's revealed his word and will through the written word so what is in the written word is the the authority of the believer and and God has judged the whole world and, and so the believer can judge the whole world by God's word he can judge he can measure justly by a, a just merciful living God now a, a Christian on their own is a sinner and he can't judge anything because he's a sinner he needs a, a just measure and that word received is the just measure so the word is the final authority is God's word therefore the Quran is Allah's word but Allah's a false God Allah was a pagan God amongst many gods and and the devil formed the idea and to bring it into like the Jews with their um, only God there's only one God and that's what the Christians believe there's only one God and only one Saviour and the Christians believe that Jesus Christ is that Saviour and is that God whereas the Jews reject the Son they don't understand the Father and the Son and the Holy Ghost are one God. Jesus came in the flesh. He was spiritually in the Father with the Father in the flesh. So when he was on earth, he was fully God. He was fully with the Father in heaven, fully the Son in the Father in heaven on earth in the flesh. And the Holy Ghost is a witness. But the Jews don't believe that and they rejected their Messiah. Therefore, they were scattered and therefore the gospel went to the, the rest of the world until the Lord restores Israel back to the promise through Jacob's trouble, through the great tribulation and the coming of the Antichrist, the false world ruler that will appear on stage to deceive and unite the world in the name of peace and he'll do it through war, he'll do it through lies and deception and power and miracles and he would deceive the world to believe him and follow him and accept him and that will be the condemnation of the world because it will collapse and God will pour out his judgments because of their unbelief and his anger for rejecting his son so the you know um, the Quran and I'm going to leave some scriptures up teaches solely to persecute the Jews this is God's word now, all is now. If you're a um, an, a Muslim, you believe in the Quran is God's word, is Allah's word, and Allah is God Almighty. And you say, "Oh, I believe in Jesus," but you don't believe that Jesus is the Messiah and the, the only begotten of the Father, because you don't believe in the Father. You believe in Allah, and there's only one Allah and one Prophet, Muhammad. And you believe in Muhammad's word given from Allah to Muhammad in the Quran. And the Quran teaches to kill all Christians and Jews and anyone who doesn't believe in, in Islam. And that's, that's, that is what Islam teaches. The law knows it. 
the world knows it and the Quran teaches it and the, these Muslims in the UK teaching that they don't believe that oh, that you know that's extremism well all Islam is extremism because if you're a Muslim you believe in the Quran if you believe in the Quran you believe in what the Quran says and the context of the Quran is quite clearly unless you want to be an apologetic and lie and argue it teaches to kill Christians and Jews and anyone that doesn't believe to surrender to Allah otherwise you get killed so if you want to hold up Islam and not speak out against it if um, Islam got into power and instituted Sharia law it would drag every Muslim to toe the line and anyone else it would be chaos it would be like a tribal fest of of going through the streets dragging you out of your house beating you up and getting you to surrender and if you didn't you'd get your head chopped off that's what that's what Muslim in the UK believes in and it comes in the name of pretense because Mus Muslims by and large are deceived they believe in their own idea of, of Allah is this loving loving Allah and Muslims don't believe in that bit of the, in the Quran where other Mus Muslims do believe it because they, they fear Allah they believe in Allah they've put their trust in a false God and a false word because that word is counterfeit to the, lit the living word and the written word given in Jesus Christ by Jesus Christ from God the Father in the written word so Islam today it's got its foot in this country and it, it's, it's, it's going to get um, more powerful and it's going to be utilised by the devil and um, I've heard a lot of rhetoric about um, you know all this gang crime increasing all these murders so all the enemies of the UK and UK's laws are going to utilise these forces and these forces have only been allowed through ignorance and through the uh, policies of the European Union where we have to accept um, political migration in the name of it's all good for this country and all, all the lie all in the name of you know it's right it's uh, liberal it, oh, you can't you can't be anti-immigration you can't be anti-muslim you got to be you can't uh, oh oh but you can be anti-christ you're not you know you can speak out against Christians but Christians can't speak the truth against um, Islam against anti-semitism or against um, you know um, is um, homosexuality or or uh, transgenderism or abortion you know I know you know you're 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 a phobic you're Islamophobic or you're homophobic what about uh, Christophobic or biblical phobic you know you're anti-law you're anti-freedoms you're anti what's right and good and moral you're corrupt and liars like Christ said the whole world are liars and deceived and that's what Muslim is in the UK and there's been um, I've noticed that there's been more of this um, I'm sure it's uh, a lot of it's engineered and fermented but there's been a lot of uh, uh, gang crime uh, increasing crime sprees you know violent stabbings and uh, and I, I don't know the full extent but I've heard several stories of, of multiple crimes moped crimes and I saw a program on Channel 5 and there's an interview with the uh, police commissioner of London and he said oh we and uh, and the, the, the phrase the uh, key words were oh we haven't got the money to tackle this problem because of the budget cuts therefore we can only mark down the areas where and he showed this chart where all these uh, moped attacks and s crime sprees are going on so his message was loud and clear oh they the government who pay us have withheld the money so we can't do anything about it you know given this big screen signal through the the one-way media because that's what the medium is you know you don't you can't get your voice on telly you've got to spend um, thousands of pounds a second for the prime air time but if you're a multi-million pound uh, force you can get any rubbish put up and everyone has to hear it and then it's copyrighted you can't repeat it but you have to, 
you can't copyright what your ears are exposed to and what your eyes see you can't get your rights preserved oh I don't want to see all that rubbish over the bus stop I don't want to see all those adverts when I go out they're telling you to stay indoors and not look the world is set up in its own favour and uh, so this um, this uh, in my town in, in my local area all the all the local towns now I live in Hampshire now I live inland about 50 miles inland from the south coast whereas our nearest police station is the Isle of Wight would you believe that's Hampshire police station now they've closed down all the local police stations in the local towns and they, they've been closed for a long time and it's like uh, well they're drawing back all the local police and what they're doing is that they're having traffic units and they they move the compound martelize the police force and then they they've bolstered it up by the 101 police force and it, it, it's like sending out a green light it's withdrawing any like they like the reports on the London riots recently you know a few years back how police even police officers and stations were testifying that, that, that the powers above them were withdrawing genuine support they were told to stand down it was all as though it was engineered to happen and all these uh, cells were sponsored to provoke the riots in the first place you got the same hand supporting the fermentation of the riots and the anger and, and the lawlessness and the rebellion against our government and then you got the government behaving in such a bad way that, that you know the powers are telling the police force to hold back on helping people even their own police force so again it's it's as though it's rearing its head and seeing this channel 5 program and the police commission of london and the met saying oh you know there's nothing we can do about it. there's no money to tackle this crime all we can do is concentrate on certain areas it sends out a, one on the me mainstream media national television that oh it's okay to do crime well it's not okay but it it it's unlikely that it's going to be um going to be able to be dealt with but that, that to me that's irresponsible and that, i i personally believe it's intended to be that way uh to ferment these things because they they want to they want to create lawlessness uh, the enemy to um, the human race and people's freedoms and laws is to undermine your law undermine those freedoms that we we've give, we've got and they'll be they're being continually undermined by people's ignorance their unbelief they'd rather believe in darwinism and now we've got this talk of the of brexit we're having a let's have a referendum there's people billionaire millionaires sponsoring money to rethink brexit you know it, it people vote once right and now they voted how can you change it if there is another it it's as though the um it's as though it's leading towards they want they've dumped brexit you know we were taken into the european union in the 70s under false pretenses and lied to and were not told and then then it got then it grew up and took the biscuit and then then it's decided all these years later to, then to give the referendum to give the choice to the public they all they've done is dump the responsibility on the public and they're going to milk this to the you know the enemies in the world are going to milk this to against all that's good in this country all that we've held and achieved it's going to toss it around and destroy it and any any good progress that would be made if we come once we are out of the um, European Union would be undermined by the powers because the world powers want they want the world to all, all be yoked to this European Union that's what it was set up for to bring this global government this um, vain idea of uh, how the world should run on our behalf being our voice being our but there being the Darwinistic body the head of the human race to govern it and regulate it and speak for it and through all these uh, corporate ambiguous 
uh, powers that tow along behind it, we, we have this beast. Um, the, the, the British nation have voted to, to, to be separate from it, and whatever ever it seems that people are going to do, it's going to end up going back into, you know, back to where we started. They don't, it's as though we're, you're not going to get out of Brexit, it's just a, you know, it's just a, you're not going to get out of Europe, it was just a big, you know, it was a plan to uh, manipulate and get them where they want to get the ball. Um, but who knows? I, I don't know what what the future holds. But it just seems that, um, as I suspected, there'd be another referendum, and they're dragging their feet. And what they really want is to uh, remain in the European U Union under the yoke of uh, all those uh, corrupt powers that have dominated for so long and undermined our nation's uh, law and our nation's f liberties and freedoms and Christianity and kicked it out the door. So uh, now we're a uh, humanistic, atheistic, um, moralless uh, nation heading for uh, wrath and judgment and hell ultimately. And so I wanted to cover those things. What I've what I've noticed increasing on the you know in the streets of the UK, and uh, I live in a, a suburbia. It's not it's not even you know it's barely scratched the fringe of uh, this place. But um, you know in the major towns and cities, it, it's getting um, it seems to be um, hotting up. It seems to be. Um, incrementally getting more um, disruption more confusion like the world's going to fall away it's going to lose all, all, all that tradition has been undermined all that continuous lessons learned from life are being undermined and corrupted and new generation have no sight of that so they grow up in with this unfounded worldview and they've been indoctrinated with Darwinistic opinions in the name of, you know using using good and philosophies and all these uh, all this merge of ideas but they haven't the truth therefore they can't um, structure knowledge correctly or truth they can't put it together they're missing missing key parts therefore any truth is uh, corrupted in, in lies and it's you they you the truth is used to to get evil done. It's like um, you know you know a a group of paedophiles set, uh, setting up a charity front, getting good people to run it, not knowing of the paedophilia behind it, and then uh, utilizing that good front for its own ends. And and then when you speak out against it being a paedophile vice ring, all the charities say, "Oh no, you know we don't have anything to do with." paedophilia or vice so it, it's kind of like a, a two-faced body that one 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 up one side can't see the other side and and that's like a masonry a freemasonry a lot of freemasons are a good charitable people they don't realize what they're yoked to that they yoked to deception and corruption which is utilized and set up for those purposes to get a mass body of ignorant, deceived people to be a false front. So when it's spoken out against, it's hitting the majority of people. Oh no, that's not what what we believe. That's not what we talk. About. That's not what we. No, but that's what's utilized. All the evil is utilized through it under the noses of the people who hold it up ignorantly. It's antichrist. It denies Jesus Christ. It denies. It, it denies the law. It denies uh, the common law. It does things in secret. It's it's wicked. Like this world is wicked. Wicked as unbelief, unfounded. So that's an, uh, some of the things I've noticed. Um, and fake news is another one. I've seen these adverts. Facebook. Oh, how we're going to be in the voice of the people? How we're going to tackle fake? How we need to tackle fake news? Well, it's like again, it's like the devil set up. The, the antithesis against the fake news and then the the fake news it's set up to attack 
and all that is to do is a mask to cover the truth because within the um, I see that Alex Jones has been banned from Facebook well Alex Jones contains much truth but he's uh, set up falsely so he can be accused as a fake news reporter so he's deliberately put himself in a position to be set up to be a fake news reporter claiming and that's and, and to people who believe him that's going to make him more credible and then to the world powers and like Facebook it's going to give them more credibility as well because they're dealing with fake news but what but the victims are the people who are revealing the truth and giving a uh, good conscience they're giving testimony they're giving and and that's so this fake news can be tackled with therefore the truth can be um, edited it can be controlled it can be covered over it can be swept over by the majority um, leading the, f the charge against fake news all the mainstream news media outlets are fake because they're um, unfounded so they're corrupt therefore they give off bias news they give out bias news it's one way you can't answer back to it it's it's voice it's a voice for you you don't it doesn't you don't have an opinion you might have the internet but all that did, all that, that does is let you voice your opinions in a vacuum because uh, not everyone can see it it's not it's not um, it's not predominant it's not held up it's not sponsored it's not got, got money and power behind it so the independent media gets swamped by the the mainstream and the mainstream is um, in the hands of the devil the whole world's in the under the yoke of uh, the force of Satan and he controls um, all these assets he influences all these independent uh, predominant assets in the world to deceive and keep people away from the truth and uh, fake the f that's where I think the uh, charge against fake news is going it's, it's to censor the people who are, are revealing the real news to wake people up to enable people to uh, set themselves free from deception whether that be uh, false religion like the cults Mormon cult the, the the Catholic Church or Islam Buddhism you know to give out the gospel to give out the the count the uh, the remedy to all those counterfeits and and also my in my opinion is to cover up the vice rings and the exposing of uh, satanic ritual abuse and the and the organized vice rings that are uh, that corrupt all world powers that are that we've seen ooze out of all the powerful uh, theatres and components on the world stage like the sports arena all the sponsored sports stars who who've been who've been touched by who had association with these vice rings and these powerful organizations that are established behind the established powers the lawful powers that the lawful powers might not necessarily be able to see and they might not necessarily be 100% part of but those powers are on earth and they're established and they exist and they exist through um, the media, through Hollywood, through government, through, through uh, the sports world, through the entertainment industry and these are big vices, big vice organised rings, uh, and the, you know there's many, many vice uh, pockets and pools of uh, groups of vice. But there is um, the main, the main uh, component I I believe fake news is aimed to keep people in ignorance is the the corrupt utilising of paedophile vice in against governments, against parliament, against uh, uh, royalty and I think that's why uh, that that's what brings the most opposition is when these things are challenged, when these things are exposed, that's when the the mainstream powers seem to clamp down on on uh, people are voicing the, the truth and, and the testimony 
and I think that's what fake news is against. It's it, it, it's it, it's an uh, an affront on uh, uh, people's freedom of independent information and exposing the truth. It's going to be censored, and I think this is where this fake news is is going from from the sponsors behind Facebook leading that that charge, and I and I you know as I said before it's the same powers that set up all the fake stuff with truth in it with real truth and real real salt in it to go you know to a th to corrupt that truth and hold it up and as fake and then you can attack it therefore then you can go after what is true and then people will just switch off because it out there be conditioned and PC into accepting oh it's fake news and and the world's voice, the one world way media will continue to be shape people's and engineer people's thoughts and people's opinions and it will be the voice against fake news and then it's a false argument against well what is the fake news and who are the fake news it, you know and, it, and it's obvious if you have the truth who, what, what, what the fake news is you only have to look to see so that's that. That's one thing I wanted to highlight and notice. Um, a, a move, a move on that front. On um, and and to consider if you live in the UK, uh, Islam, and what it really teaches. So if you're a Muslim, I'm not. I don't believe in persecuting Muslims. Uh, I, I know. I know for a fact how they would treat me if Sharia law got into in UK government. It would. It would be murder. That would be the end of Great Britain in England as we know it. It would be, it would, it would collapse. It would go wild, because that's what um, Islam is. It's wild in nature, like Darwinism. It's wild in nature. It's about the, the biggest win, and the biggest is the cruelest, and the cruelest is the basest and the most heartless. Therefore, it's unjust because it's blind to its own power and lust and delusion. And that's what it sets up the carrot and the pride of life. And the whole world's yoked to this pride of life and forced to follow behind it. And that road's going to hell. Broad is, broad is the way that leads to destruction. Straight is the way. and Straight and narrow is the way to eternal life. And that's through Jesus Christ. He's the only, only way. The only living truth. And he, he's outstretched right now. So if you're hearing this and you, you're, you're lost you're looking for hope you're looking for salvation you need you need him and you need only him um, so that's kind of most of what I wanted to cover in this uh, on this video um, just the uh, oh, and, and the brexit you know um, how how the rhetoric's going on brexit and where that's leading and how I don't, I don't believe that you know it's intended that we're, we're ever going to get out of Brexit and any genuine effort will be undermined and corrupted by the the powers that be and it's kind of like in our day it's like in the days of of old you know we're we're we're, we're under this spiritual bondage but we can't see our prison keepers like you could in old times it's more physical but we're like in we're, we're like in the uh, the Jews when they were cap captured by the Babylonians and taken away into captivity, and brought brought into bondage and then you utilised like battery hens, and and the UK has become slave to all these corporate foreign powers, and and they've un those foreign powers and forces have undermined our liberties and freedoms and our own nation's rights and government. And it's gone. That you know the bus, the the horse is bolted. So if you're if you're hoping for a better world to come, you you need to you need to wake up. You need to shake yourself. I you know I heart, I earnestly just like seek out to reach somebody with the gospel so that they may receive it themselves. As I, a sinner, a lost man, I'm forty eight. I would have had no chance in this life to to survive and I, I, I would have gone nothing but bad because I'm bad through and through but I've received my saviour my salvation Jesus Christ he's my eternal saviour and I'm forever his he's purchased me with his blood he's sealed me with his life 
and, and I'm his. I've been given to him from his father. And he's saved me and adopted me. He's my father. He's my he's my daddy. And I, I and anyone can know that. Anyone can receive him and know that for themselves and know the purpose of life. You know how many people can say that genuinely? Don't I don't need to prove that because I know that I've received it. I can only say to you and invite people to receive that themselves. I can say. Oh, you know, Scotland is a place, and you might not have heard of Scotland. And I said, Oh, you just go up north, head north, you'll hit it eventually. Get in your car, go, go about 800 miles or whatever, drive for eight hours, or, and eventually you get there. But if people didn't believe that Scotland did exist, they wouldn't get, they, they would never set off on the journey and find it. And that's what, that's the same with the gospel. Now people people need to preach the truth because if the truth's not preached, people won't know where to go and get it, where it is dispensed themselves, where where the machine is to go and get salvation from, where where it is you go and press the button to receive that free gift of eternal life, and that is simply the cross. That is faith alone in the Lord Jesus Christ, and um, the world needs that and and if the world rejects that it remains lost and then if it dies it will it will go to hell and uh, that's a horrible thought but that is a reality because God's faithful to his word and he can't deny himself and uh, the world's getting out of control so nobody knows what tomorrow brings in the world's life in history and nobody knows what tomorrow brings in our in the next moment brings in our independent lives so that um, invitation is from God it's from the Son given by the Son Jesus Christ and it's outstretched to all to receive it freely now that's why we have preachers that's why the Gospels preached um, now if you imagine a preacher if you imagine the world come out with um, a commercial brand of water and claimed and said that this water gives you eternal life and they're advertising it right and that that would fly off the shelves people would want to try it but they wouldn't know that it, they'd received eternal life they would have to like the world would have to want proof then it would stop you know harming other people or harming itself to make sure it is not going to die that, and that's kind of a, a, a worldly analogy, but the, the living life, the living water, is exactly like that. And that's what preachers sell, and that's what Christians sell. It's just a, a bottle of eternal life. And you drink that. You just come up to the, up to the store, and you receive that bottle, and you drink it, and you receive it. And you know you've drunk it because you, you're quenched and refreshed by it. And you know where it's come from because you've been told where it comes from. It comes from God. It comes from the author of life. And when you receive it, it gives you eternal life. The trouble is people don't want it because they don't believe it. Therefore, they're not going to come to the water and drink it and know that that is water that they're drinking or the eternal life given of God. It's God's light. It's God's heart. It's God's spirit. It's God's soul. It's God's Son. And if you receive Him, you receive what He's dispensed and done on the cross for you, you will receive that spirit, that life and that love. So like a bottle of water, you need to come and get it and grab it. Because if it was the world, it would it would you know, it if it could be proven it can be proven by drinking it by faith, but it can't the uh, after faith will come the evidence but god doesn't do, god doesn't need to prove it so the analogy where you once you drunk the water how do you know you have eternal life if it if in the analogy it was done by the world and a, head, a big sponsor how would they guarantee that it gives you eternal life well god does guarantee because god gives you that water and you drink that water and receive that water but that doesn't mean you, you, you've seen God, but you've received his life. So you're not hoping for something that isn't. 
that you're hoping is going to save you you're hoping in something that has saved you that will save you and does save you you have faith in that and then when you have faith as soon as you have faith in that and appropriate that and you appropriate his salvation you will receive it and you will know you've received it and that's what the gospel is and that's what this video is for and, that, and I also a warning um, I was being a watchman I, c I can see that things are getting worse I have a testimony I know where this world's going but how do I get a voice in the world how do I get you know go, going out on the street posting gospel tracks limited to getting the gospel out so a video while I'm in my sick bed a video was a way of getting out my testimony to the world in the hope that someone would one day you know one one or two people would by by the grace of God come across this video receive a witness and go and put their faith in God Almighty in the Son of God Jesus Christ and be safe for themselves and then when when they've done that just to stay separate from religion and to study their have have faith in God daily and build upon that what they've received and study his word and grow in his word and share his word and that's all the gospel teaches and um, all believers have that authority to warn the world and to offer that hope that Jesus Christ has given his life that's God's life that's God's beloved son and God gave his son up and his son gave himself up that we may have life but if you don't know that life and you don't receive that life you'll never know that therefore you'll, you'll remain in ignorance you'll remain in darkness because the darkness doesn't want to come to the light Jesus said the darkness cannot comprehend the light and the light came into the world to tell it it was wrong but that which is wrong doesn't want to be told it's wrong and it can't see that it's wrong because it doesn't know it's any different it doesn't know any different because it's created so when the creator comes into the the uh, world and says I created you you're all wrong and I'm right it kills him it rejects him because it doesn't know it doesn't know the truth it can't comprehend God because it's created it has a beginning God has no beginning he's eternal he's today today is the day of our salvation our salvation is now probation for the world is now and at that time and that's the warning it will pass and if you die unsaved you go to hell and you remain there and there's no escape because Christ is the escape now today so you reject that at your own peril so I'm reaching out to anyone who's looking for that hope looking for that light looking for that salvation because the, the darkness doesn't want to be brought to the light because it will show it how evil it is how wrong it is and, uh, and the world is proud it's sharpened in its own pride it knows best man knows every man goes his own way every man's got his own opinion and his own way of doing things because man's unfounded all that diversity is corrupt and all, 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 all man's ways are unfounded because they don't know God therefore they're not founded on the on the right path therefore they continue on the wrong path broad is the way that leads to destruction straight straight is the gate and narrow is the way that leads to eternal life and few there be that find it and why are few that be that find it because not many people believe therefore they it's, they can't believe in something so beautiful so simple therefore they're not going to believe it therefore they're not going to receive the pearl of great price and they're going to die and they're going to wonder at it and they're going to be in hell and then they're going to realize that just is god that god is just and holy and faithful to his word he can't deny himself he's jealous He's not jealous like a man he's jealous that all may know him and receive him and that's why Jesus Christ died to draw all men unto himself that they may know him and he wanted all, all to be like he was in it one in his father that we may be one with him in his father also and those that are saved are, are born again you must be born again you must be born from 
from within through what he's done through his spirit through his grace to have that imputed within your corrupted life your sinful life and that grace is what saves you that is eternal life that's his heart mind and will that's his spirit and that brings you into his presence his heavenly presence so like jesus when he was on earth with with the fellowship of the father and the holy spirit so through jesus christ we have that same fellowship as he had with his father we have him in his father with us on earth we have the comforter we have the holy spirit the gift of the holy spirit and that anybody can receive that and that's the truth that's the word and that's the uh the light that came into the world and can be freely received because i've received it through faith and and i've received it from learning of the good report of others who've received it through faith the early church fathers and i and i mean by the early church fathers i mean the jewish apostles the uh the 12 and and uh paul who 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 was called to witness to the the gentile world of the gospel of the simplicity of christ the cross the death burial burial and resurrection of of life of god of the savior who died for the Jew and the Gentile and is outstretched today. And I'm going to close there in the name of Jesus Christ. Wish everybody well. Wish you well if you're listening and thank you for listening if you've listened this far. Uh, Maranatha to you.